Hi guys, Richard here. Over the past few months, I asked my subscribers to help me buy a new computer to replace this one. As a result, I was able to acquire two computers, one of which sits in this cupboard, which already has a rather large cat scratch down the front of it, and the other in the study. I now have two extremely powerful computers which allow me to run every Hauptwerk organ in their highest settings and also enables me to edit extremely large 4K videos. In this video, I will finally reveal these computers to you. In here we have two computers. This one is specifically used for YouTube streaming, it doesn't do anything else. And I've got two audio interfaces. I'll talk about those in another video. Now this one's out of the way, you can see the new computer. There it is, the black thing right there is the new computer. It doesn't look like much, I know, but computers often don't. But it's amazing. It's fantastic. It is an HP Z640 workstation. I'm an organist, so I confess now that that doesn't mean much to me at all. It has two CPUs. These are Xeon CPUs, E5 2620 version 3, and also comes with a built-in cat. This organ actually came from the Netherlands, from a company called NCAPS, and I am very grateful indeed to them for sending it across. What I thought would be rather fun would be to load up all of the Hauptwerk organs and let's have a race. Let's see how long they take. Which Hauptwerk organ is going to load the quickest? I'll also show you the settings that I've uh, been able to load them in. Even with the fastest computers, Hauptwerk still takes about 20 years to load. Welcome to my study. This is where it all happens behind the scenes. Two keyboards in here, one here and one here. I don't know whether the microphone's picking up the sound of the computer, but it's on the floor down there. When it arrived, it was in a huge box and far bigger than I thought it would be. I opened it up and it wasn't at all what I expected. You know, I expected a normal computer tower, basically sits on the floor and rises upwards. Not this one. This one sits on the floor and is flat. It turns out that I'd accidentally ordered the computer in a server rack. So it's extremely heavy, extremely big, and barely fits under the computer desk. Luckily it does. So these are the specs. I'll leave you to look at them on the screen. Um, needless to say that the AMD Threadripper is um, one of the best CPUs you can currently get. 64 gigabytes of RAM is more than enough for what I need it to do. It's just video editing and audio editing. What I have on the screen right now is Adobe Premiere. This is what I use to do all of my video editing. And this is the Americana video that I did 
a few weeks ago. And on the right hand side here, you'll see a preview of the um, the Sousa Stars and Stripes Forever. And what we have going on here are, you can see four different angles. One, two, three, and four. Each one of those angles is a 4K resolution. So the computer is having to process four 4K cameras at once. Let's just say 4K is four times the resolution of your full HD television. Your television in full HD will be what's called 1080p. 4K is essentially four times the size of that. So it has to be a fairly beasty computer to do what I need it to do. And it does do it very well indeed. And it also um, does audio very well. I do my audio post-production in Cubase, if you're interested in that. If you're interested, the computer came from scan.co.uk. Um, great company who are able to customize computers um, to suit whatever specification you have, really. It took a quite a long time to arrive, but it was during the COVID uh, crisis, so understandable. But really really happy with this epic machine it allows me to edit my videos in here really quickly so that's two thumbs up for me that was a very quick overview of the two new computers on the beauty and sound channel thank you so much for helping me to get them it allows me to play organ music to you on these sensational instruments. I think you'll agree. Fantastic organs in the highest quality sound, which, which I know is what you want. Thank you to all of my subscribers, all of my Patreons, and to everyone who ha has helped me so far and who will help me on our future journey together, wherever that may be. But I suspect the next few years of Beauty and Sound will be very exciting indeed. And I can't wait to share that journey with you. So let's do this together and enjoy this music as a, as a wonderful, friendly community. Until next time, whenever that may be, um, I will see you. Cheerio.